Hi, welcome back. So in this video, uh, we're going to learn on how you can use Boxplot to understand about your data. What are the information that you can extract out of Boxplot just by looking at it? Right, so the first is about the shape of distribution. And if you have more than two sets uh, plotted on the same axis, you can compare the, the average and the variability of these different sets. Now let's move on to the first one, which, which is shape of distribution. So, with a box plot, you can easily determine whether your data has a right skew distribution or does it has a left skew distribution or does it have a symmetric distribution. So, let's say you have a box plot that looks like this. Okay, so this is, imagine that this is the box. Okay, let me change my pen color into some other color, maybe purple. All right, so let's say that the median line is positioned closer to the right side of the box or if the median line is closer to the quartile tree line over here. So this indicates that you have a left skewed distribution or a negatively skewed distribution. Can you see it? Okay, maybe I should sketch this just to make it clearer to you. There, can you see it? So this data is left skewed distribution. It is skewed to the left. Right. So, but if you have a box that has the median line closer to the right, to I'm, I'm sorry, closer to the left side of the box, or if the median line is closer to quartile one line, so this indicates that your data has the right skewed distribution. And yep, I can help you to understand by drawing this sketch. So can you see it? It is skewed to the right. Yep. So this is how you determine whether your data has a left skewed distribution or a right skewed distribution. So um, can you guess how does a symmetric distribution looks like on a box plot? Uh huh. Right. Of course. So if the median line is positioned right in the middle of the box, all right, which means that it is like equal, equally distant from quartile one and quartile three over here. So if you have this box, uh, if you have a box plot that looks like this, it could be a symmetric distribution or the data could be a right skewed distribution or it could also have a left skewed distribution. Okay, so if you have a box plot that is that looks symmetrical like this, the next, thing, the next thing you need to look at to determine the shape is you have to look at the whiskers. All right, so I'm going to draw the left and right whiskers for this box down here. So let's say if you have a symmetric box and the left whisker is longer than the right whisker, so this indicates that you have a left skewed distribution. This shows that your data has a left skewed distribution. And vice versa, if your left whisker is shorter than your right whisker or if your right whisker is longer than your left whisker, so this means that you have a Yes, you have a right skewed distribution, that your data is, has a right skewed distribution. So, can you guess what does a symmetric distribution looks like? Okay, I think all of you can guess by now that if your box is symmetrical and if the left whisker has the same length as the right whisker, then then only this indicates that you have a symmetric distribution. And well, of course, most of the time you will you will not get a completely symmetrical box and like the complete same length of right and left whisker. Even if they are almost symmetrical, even if the whiskers has almost the same length, then you can you can also uh, identify this as an almost symmetric distribution. Okay, everyone, so if your median line is closer to the right side of the box, then you have a left skewed distribution. If your box plot has the median line closer to the left side of the box, so this indicates that your data has a right skewed distribution. And if your box has a symmetric uh, if the middle line is positioned right at the center of the box like this, you may have a symmetry, you may have a right skewed distribution, or you may have a left skewed distribution. So if you have a box that is 
um, symmetrical like this, you need to look at the length of the whiskers to determine their shape. Okay, so if that is clear to you, now let's try to determine what are the shapes of the two box plot that we draw on the previous video. So here we are. This is the two sets of data that we uh, use in the previous video, which is this data is about the amount of milk produced by cow owns by Padma Il, remember? So Padma Il owns two types of breeds, which is breed A and also breed B. Okay, and remember that from the previous video, we identified that breed B has an outlier over here. Okay, so now this is how the box looks like for breed A and this is how the box looks like for breed B. So can you please tell me what is the shape of distribution for breed A? Well, you can see here that the median line is closer to the left side. So if you can try to imagine or if you can try to sketch this, then you can see that this is skewed to the Right, yep, you are right. So this is right skewed. This data has a right skewed distribution. And what about breed B? Can you guess what is the shape of distribution for breed B? Let's try to sketch that. So you can see that it is slightly skewed to the left. And yep, you're right. So this data has a left skewed distribution. So there you go. You can easily determine the shape of your distribution just by looking at your box plot.